It's about time that we got a Pablo Escobar biopic. Hey everybody, welcome to Mainly Movies. Today I'm going to be talking about the 2023 horror comedy, Cocaine Bear. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for a variety of movie related content, like reviews, rank lists, and trailer reactions. All my reviews include a breakdown of the pros and cons, my rating, and some tailored film recommendations, so be sure to watch through to the end of this video for all of that extra content. Cocaine Bear stars Carrie Russell, O'Shea Jackson Jr., and Alden Ehrlenrich, and was directed by Elizabeth Banks. It tells the story of a black bear that eats millions of dollars worth of smuggled cocaine and goes on a drug-fueled rampage in the Georgia forest. Cocaine Bear was one of my most anticipated movies of 2023. This was partly because it looked like a ridiculous and wildly original story, but also because it's about a black bear. Now, you've probably noticed some things over the years. Oscar the Black Bear over here, the fact that I rate movies in bear paws. These aren't just weird little things because I'm in Maine. For those of you who don't know, I worked with and studied black bears, and there was a good chunk of my 20s where black bears were kind of my life. In grad school, I studied black bear denning ecology. Feel free to read my journal article in Animal Behavior if you're curious about my research, but I also worked for the state, focusing on black bears and Canada lynx. So black bears are still very near and dear to my heart, and although Cocaine Bear is factually and biologically inaccurate, it was still a lot of fun for me, especially given my black bear connection. Despite the ridiculous premise, Cocaine Bear is actually rooted in some truth. This is loosely, and I mean loosely, based on a true story. In 1985, drug smugglers did throw bags of cocaine out of a plane, and a black bear did eat about 75 pounds of it. Given that this was equal to about 40% of the bear's body weight, it died pretty quickly and didn't really have time to absorb the drugs. But it's a bizarre true story with a lot of twisted comedic potential. So the kernel of truth was expanded upon in this ridiculous dark comedy. It's the type of movie that makes it very clear what you're getting yourself into. This is not an Oscar caliber movie by any stretch of the imagination, but that was never its intention. Cocaine Bear is a movie about a bear that's on cocaine, and the film goes all in on that concept, effectively and entertainingly delivering on its promise. Although the bear on cocaine premise seems like it would make for a pretty bare bones when animals attack kind of story, Cocaine Bear has a surprisingly fleshed out plot. There are a lot of human characters in this story, and it's one of those movies where all of these disparate characters and their storylines converge. And in this case, they just all happen to converge in a national forest with a drug-addled bear. Usually in movies like this, the human characters are just bear food. So characterization isn't really prioritized. But this film actually spends a lot of time setting the characters up, giving us a surprising, and arguably unnecessary, amount of background information on each of them. There is something that's kind of refreshing about that, but it also slows down the pacing and introduces a bunch of extraneous subplots. There are also some thematic elements to this movie, with uh, parenthood and anti-drug focus, but let's be honest, people are coming to see this movie for one thing, the cocaine bear. And what a bear it is! <laughs> cocaine Bear is obviously the driving force of her eponymous movie, and she is endlessly entertaining. Honestly, I think Cocaine Bear, the movie, could have used a little bit more bear, but what we do get is so ridiculous and funny and over the top and weird that it's hard to complain. It's this hard to describe mix of fun, goofy absurdity and tense animal attack thriller. The comedy is always there to keep it light and fun, but this gets pretty intense. There are a lot of instances of people getting pulled off camera, and some moments of campy gore early on, but it should be noted that things really escalate on the gore front. This is bloody and graphic at times. Like I said, it always retains that underlying comedy, but there are some brutal moments as the story progresses. I'm not sure if this is exactly what people had in mind when calling for more original movie ideas out of Hollywood, but I'm here for it. Cocaine Bear is an absurd and over-the-top film that goes all in on its bear on cocaine premise. And I think as long as you go into this film knowing that and wanting that, you're gonna have a good time. I suspect that this is gonna become a bit of a cult classic. It's a movie that's fun with a crowd and also one that'll be fun to watch with a group of friends. 
I know I certainly can't wait to get my biologist friends together to watch it. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pro number one is the premise. It would be hard not to put this on the pro side. This film has an utterly ridiculous but absolutely original premise. Drawing inspiration from an equally absurd true story, this movie delivers exactly what it promises. Cocaine Bear truly is a film about a bear on cocaine and all of the ridiculous carnage and scenarios that come along with it. Pro number two is the gore. Obviously, when you're dealing with an animal attack movie, there's always some potential for blood and gore. But I've got to admit, for some reason, I wasn't expecting this to be a particularly gory movie. And when the film started off, it was kind of in line with that expectation. There was some campy gore here and there, but a lot of it was happening off screen, with characters being pulled out of the frame. But man does this ramp up with the gore. This gets absolutely brutal. It all retains this comedic edge to it, but there were moments where my theater, as a collective group, were groaning in amused pain and discomfort. That whole ambulance sequence? Whew. On the con side, the biggest issue is the excessive number of subplots. Admittedly, a story about a bear high on cocaine is a bit simplistic. It's a one-note joke that, on its own, could only really be used to fuel a chaotic when animals attack thriller. So, I understand the inclusion of the human characters, and the desire to flesh them out with uh, backstories and their own subplots. I just think this movie devotes a little too much time and focus to them, and includes a few too many side characters. They all end up connecting to the larger story somehow, but some of them just felt extra extraneous. The second con kind of piggybacks off the last one and is the pacing. When the cocaine bear rampage and carnage is ongoing, this film is incredibly fun. But the film cuts between the multitude of human characters and storylines way too much, slowing things down. It takes a while for the story to really get going, and once it does, it doesn't flow quite as smoothly as it could have. Before I give you my rating and recommendations, I want to remind you that if you're interested in buying Cocaine Bear or any of the other films I mentioned today, I do have affiliate links for all of them in the description below. I get a small commission from anything you buy using one of my links, so I'd really appreciate it if you'd use them if you're on the market for any of these movies. I'm gonna give Cocaine Bear three and a half out of five paws. It spends a little too much time with human characters and subplots, but this movie delivers on its wild premise. Cocaine Bear is indeed about a bear that does cocaine and the absurd, entertaining carnage that results. I would recommend Cocaine Bear to people who like wacky horror comedies. The tone is pretty bizarre, but if you come in knowing what to expect, the right target audience is gonna have a blast with this one. Additionally, if you like when animals attack movies, especially from the 70s and 80s, this will provide some fun, gory entertainment for you. If you liked Cocaine Bear, I would recommend Grizzly. Part of the post-Jaws when animals attack movie surge of the late 70s, this film closely follows the storyline of its aquatic inspiration, essentially just swapping out the shark for a grizzly bear. It's intended to be a serious horror movie, but it's pretty schlocky and often unintentionally funny. If you'd rather stick with Ursus Americanus, you might want to check out Backcountry. This one's not a comedy, intentional or otherwise, but it is another black bear-centric film, loosely based on a true story. And if you just want another solid animal attack movie, you should check out Cujo. Like Cocaine Bear, it features an animal that becomes aggressive through no fault of its own, so it invokes a unique and kind of conflicting sense of sympathy from the viewer. All right, a couple questions for you guys. Number one, have you seen Cocaine Bear? If so, what'd you think of it? And number two, what ridiculous drug-fueled animal sequel would you like to see next? Be sure to leave your answers in the comments below so we can get a discussion going. All right, so if you got some enjoyment, insight, or information on this review, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe while you're at it to see more videos like this. Till next time, this has been Alyssa with Mainly Movies. The way life should be.